You can place tables in MicroStation using the Place Table tool. The options that you have range from placing an empty table to placing a table from a report definition or placing a table using the data in an Excel workbook or CSV file. Once placed, you can perform formatting operations on a table. If you ever worked with Microsoft Excel, then your experience will be very similar to working with tables inside of MicroStation. So let's jump into MicroStation where we are going to place a table from Excel. Here we are inside of MicroStation and we have the proposed restaurant DGN file open. This can be found in the 08 annotating designs folder. So let's go ahead and set the active level to A Anno Schedule. Then let's pan the view to an open space away from graphics. To the right of the floor plan would be ideal. Our task here is that we will be placing a room finish schedule table. So along the ribbon from the annotate tab of the tables ribbon group, we'll go ahead and select the place table tool. In the tool settings window, we're going to select the method from file. The seed will be set to none. Our textile will be building 3.5 millimeter and retain association should be enabled. Now to select an Excel file, we'll go ahead and click the browse button to the right of the file name field. Here we'll select the room finish schedule XLSX. As can be seen, the select cells dialog opens. From here, we'll retain the default settings and click OK. Take note, this may take a moment. You will see a brief progress bar as the table is brought in. So we're gonna bring our cursor into the view and once displayed at our cursor, we'll go ahead and place the table in the open area. Once placed, you can perform the following formatting operations on a table. You can add and remove rows, add a title row, header row, first column, last column, and footer row, which can contain different formatting than the body rows. You can break a table, change the height and width of rows and columns. You can merge and split cells, change cell margins, set cell fill color. You can also add and remove borders and set border color, line style, and line weight. You can also perform the following operations on the text in the table cells. You can set the text alignment as well as set the text direction. Next, we'll be updating the table body text style. So with the annotate tab still active, we're going to select the dialog launcher icon in the lower right corner of the text group. As part of the process of bringing in the table from Excel, a new text style was created that does not conform to the company standards. We will now remap this text style to a company standard text style. So from the text style dialog in the list of styles, we'll right click on the body row. From this contextual menu, we'll select delete. As can be seen, the alert dialog opens, warning us that the style is in use. From here, we'll select the destination drop-down menu and then select building 3.5 millimeter. We'll click the remap button and then we can dismiss the textiles dialog as well. Now we can edit the table symbology. For this, we will turn off the fill, set the cell margins for the body cells and set the textile for the header row. So we'll make the element section tool active and then issue a data point to select the table element. Once a table element is selected, you will notice that along the ribbon, a new contextual tab will appear. It is here that you can select operations that are specific to working with a table. With the table selected, from the table symbology group, let's click the fill button. From here, we'll click no fill. Now we'll adjust the table symbology. So from the table symbology group, we'll set the borders to all. From the same table symbology group, we'll set the line weight to one. Next, we'll change the borders to outside. We'll set the borders line weight 
the two. Then in the alignment group, from the cell margins drop down menu, we'll select normal. So our next task is we're going to be editing the header row text. So for this, we'll make the edit text tool active. We'll then select the text room finish schedule in the header row. And as such, the text editor opens. From here, we'll change the text style to building 5.0 millimeter. We'll enable bold and set the justification now to middle center. And then we'll data point into the view to accept. During this lesson, you learned how to place a table from Excel, work with table tools within the ribbon tab, and set table symbology. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.